Hello everybody, welcome to today's video from Acorn and Oak. Today we're going to be creating some Halloween candle stands or pedestals or lifts or whatever you call them. I got these ceramic um, candle stands from Hobbycraft. They do them in different sizes. They are made out of um, some sort of ceramic. Not too sure what ceramic they're made from. But I'm going to paint this black. We're going to be using some DAS air dry clay and we're going to be making a ghost candle stand. So I need to paint the parts that will be showing black because obviously the ghost will be white and I think if the candle stand was white too it wouldn't stand out as much. So I'm probably going to I will probably paint all this. I'm not going to bother painting the middle bit because it's going to be covered with the um, air dry clay. Okay, crafters, if I didn't say where I bought this from, I bought them from Hobbycraft and they are available in different sizes. So I've painted the top and the bottom and probably won't give it any more coats because that black gesso does really cover well and because this is porous, that helps. So I am now going to build, using the air dry clay, a, a, a ghost around the... Uh, Around the around the candlestick and I'm going to try and keep this in frame as much as I can there will be times it won't be in frame and I apologize for that uh, but I can't use the kitchen at the moment because it's being used otherwise I would have used the kitchen um, and done it with a camera facing on so but I can't do that at the moment so we'll just have to go with it I initially got this the idea for these from a product being sold by QVC in the US there were these really nice candle stands or pedestals um, and they were um, they had candy canes in the middle they had uh, a cat I think a black cat they had um, a ghost and I thought I can do that because obviously I can't get them um, I thought I can do that and it'll be a lot cheaper than what they were charging for them So basically what I'm going to try and do is build up a head here then it's going to flow down and then we're going to get the the uh, the bottom of the ghost but kind of flowy rather than just straight down using my hand to mold the pieces together already but I don't think it's going to be exactly the same because um, I don't think you'd be able to do it exactly the same unless you unless you were um, using a mold and as you can see I'm not um, so if you were using a mold to be able to get these more the same but as this is a DIY project we're not going to be we're not going to be using molds and I doubt you'd be able to get molds at this sort of size to buy anyway. If, it's, if 
there's too much in places I'm just going to shift it round it's almost like a triangle that we're putting in here just got to play as well um, crafters until you get something that you are happy with I think this is too big now there's too much on here adding water now to smooth out the smooth out all the joins and things to give it more of a, a smooth finish and what I'll do is if with air dry clay you're bound to get cracks so I will once this dries I will then fill the cracks in with some more air dry clay but I will bring that to camera just to show you um, what kind of cracks appeared Funny crafters, I'm doing this one with you now, but the first one I did to make sure that I liked what I was doing has turned out so much better. <laughs> I really prefer the way that the other the other one looks. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I'm doing exactly the same thing, just that it doesn't seem to have the same feel, the same look. Maybe it's because that one's been drying and it's looking more white. I don't know. even down to the waves here don't look as nice on this one as it is as it does on my first one so I'm just trying to work at it
here cut after so I don't know why that is so I'm just going to work on it a bit more and that's the thing with these with air dry clay you just got to continue to work at it I'm not rushing it just I want these to last I don't want them to you know fall over and then break so I'm taking some of the clay from the head down because it's the head's too it's too bulky around it and squeeze it squeezing it all together crafters because I want I'm not happy with I don't think it's melded enough so I'm going to meld it and, and ply it and knead it together on the candle stand okay right let's, let's start again deciding where the neck's going to be. See, that's much better. I want it thicker. Now, yeah, the, the first one I did was much thicker than the one I, this one. That's why I had to squish it all together and start again. And I'm not bothered about that I had to start again. It, you know, that's the thing with these type of projects. see how this one is not as big as this one so I need to try and shift some of the clay over and make them so they're kind of equal in proportion Uh, bit of a paintbrush that's broken 
I'm going to put it in his eyes. And a mouth. Okay, Gruffy, so I need to let that dry. I will come back once they are dry and we will fill in any cracks on camera. And then we'll think about um, decorating it. See you soon. Okay, crafters, while this dries, I can go in and we can touch up all the areas that need touching up. As you can see, this is still drying. So I thought as this is drying, I can get on with these little, these little fiddly bits. Okay, crafters, it's time to paint the ghost. Now, I didn't, this is not 100% dry, and the other one wasn't 100% dry, and I didn't get any cracks in it, so I didn't bother um, covering any up. So I'm just going to go with this, and if we get a few cracks, then um, I think I'll just add to the character, because after all, it is supposed to be a, a ghost. So I'm going to give it two coats of gesso and um, before the second coat dries I'm going to use this glitter here to give it a nice sparkle so what I'll do is I shall pull it into a large bag and then just cover it with the uh, cover it with the sparkles while the second coat is still wet And then there'll be some images at the end with them all done. And I must say, I'm very happy with the way that these have turned out. I got the uh, the clay from Amazon. I think it was about six pounds for um, the large pack. It was the, this is a, how much, how much is in you? This is, I can't see the weight. One kilogram. So it's one of the large, one of the large packs and it was six pounds on Amazon. Don't know if the, it's still gonna be that price when I link it because obviously uh, as if you're an Amazon shopper you know that prices tend to fluctuate Just use some black paint on the inside of the uh, the eye socket and the mouth.
crafted. So I'm going to give that two coats and then I'm going to, before the second coat dries, I'm going to put it in this bag and pour over the glitter. But just to show you the other one, because that one's finished, this is how it ends up looking. So I am really, really, really happy with them. Really happy with them. Got a bit of tissue there. Really happy with them. So thank you very much for joining me today, crafters. And you'll see me again very soon. Take care now. Bye now.